Ladies and gentlemen, you know that Kyrie met with Adam Silver this past Tuesday. And since the meeting, there's been some new developments. Kyrie Irving is not anti-Semitic, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver says. Well, you know, the only problem I have with this, why don't he go back out to the press with that same vigor when he was talking against Kyrie? See, he went out big and bad in front of the media. But now that he's backing down and saying he's not anti-Semitic, don't say this behind the scenes. Go back out before the world and say it just like you did before. So y'all, let's get on with the story. Mm -mm -mm. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said Thursday that he didn't believe Nets guard Kyrie Irving was anti-Semitic after meeting with him in person this week at the league's headquarters in Manhattan. Irving has been facing backlash for promoting an anti-Semitic film on Twitter last month. It's absolutely not that. Like I said, I viewed it. I saw it. And we had a direct and candid conversation, Silver, who is Jewish, said in an interview with the New York Times, adding, he's someone I've known for a decade and I've never heard an anti-Semitic word from him or, frankly, hate directed at any group. You know, it's amazing. So after the damage is done out in the press, now you realize after a decade of knowing him, he's never said any hateful things or anything anti-Semitic? Wow. So you're not into a person's character. So you all that stuff went out the window when you were spewing all that stuff out in the press. You didn't say, well, I've known him for 10 years. I'm not going to just run out and say X, Y, and Z. I'm going to talk to him first. I think that would have been the best response and not go on this all out attack against Kyrie. You know, because you're going to have many within the group that Adam Silver comes from that will just ignore all of this and still go on the attack of Kyrie because that's their nature to do that. It is within them to do that. So in a follow-up phone conversation, Silver added whether or not he is anti-Semitic is not relevant to the damage caused by posting a hateful content. Well, all he did was post the link that led to Amazon. Whether people act on it or not is really a very individual thing. But everybody got the right to know who they are. Everyone on this planet have the right to know where they came from and who they are. Telling us we were nothing but slaves and you were the enslavers, I'm not taking that word from you. Not now, not ever. I don't care how upset you are with me. Get upset. Go right ahead. Silver declined to elaborate on his meeting with Irving, citing an agreement with him to keep the details of their conversation private. Silver talked to the Times after he spoke at Sports Business Journal Dealmakers Conference in Washington, his first public appearance amid the firestorm since Irving tweeted the Amazon link. Silver suggested uh, to uh, conference attendees in response to being asked about Irving, the Amazon bore some responsibility for hosting the film on his platform. I don't believe that is the worst thing on Amazon. 
I believe there's probably things far worse than even that. In fact, some of the books we have seen on slavery is far worse than Hebrews to Negroes. Not only books on slavery, the pictures of how our forefathers were tortured and beaten and hung and you would see the mutilation. So no, I, you know, stop trying to act like this is the absolute worst thing out there. It's not. Far from it. I think Amazon has to make a decision as well, Silver said. He added, my first instinct wasn't that something um, to me that is so frankly vile and full of hate speech would be contained within Amazon Prime. You know what? It, it, this is mind blowing to me. And let me tell you why, ladies and gentlemen, we have endured hate in books and outside of books in America for five years hundred years. These folks get inconvenienced for a moment and the whole world is crashing down. Well, the whole world is not crashing down as far as I'm concerned. And number two, we have lived with hate every single day of our lives. So if you want to take this off, then you need to get all those books that talk negatively about the black community off of there too. Many of us are referencing the film, not over you at all. Many of our people want the information. We want to hear how he researched the information and there are many now, thanks to your mainstream news, want to know who they are. I don't believe you should be a roadblock in us learning about who we are. We have never been a roadblock to you. You can miss us all with that. Mm -mm. So Ladies and gentlemen, Silver told the audience that the social media post had done enormous damage. I don't see how it's done enormous damage. Nothing has, no, no harm has come to your people. Y'all look a down, let's, let's be real, y'all look down on us. There is no way we can say anything from our mouths where you don't even half listen to us anyway and it's gonna cause harm to any of you. You don't listen to us when we have something good to say. So what makes you believe that something we say now is gonna cause harm to you all these centuries later? So five centuries later, we're gonna speak words and you're gonna be harmed. Wow, y'all really know how to over-exaggerate big time. Learning that too. So it, it just goes into him posting the link, y'all. You know, this whole debacle started back in October. And I still say, anybody that is on their free time should be able to do whatever they want. All of this looking at everything he's doing and posting, that's way too much micromanaging for a grown man. It's way too much micromanaging. And he should not have to explain anything that he feels like doing on his free time. If he want to interact with his followers online, and they want to just shoot the breeze about certain topics. So the hell what? So what? 
And, you know, there's a lot of criticism coming down on them because a lot of folks feel that this six things that Kyrie must do before returning back was excessive. They pretty much said the same things that I said on video, that it was overboard, it was excessive, and nobody should have to do that. Now we know that they didn't even have any written guidelines for social media posts. So it really should drop the whole thing no matter how you look at it. So ladies and gentlemen, they said on Thursday, more than 200 entertainers, including Mila Kunis. Y'all remember Mila Kunis, the one that came out earlier this year that said she don't bathe. Do y'all remember that? It's the same actress that said she don't bathe. Okay, if you think I look at that as valid, you got another thought coming. A woman came out in public and said she don't take baths. Man, you can miss me with her. Tell her to take a bath. So the NBA and the Nets faced criticism because Irving was not suspended by the team until November 3rd, a week after his original post. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, it, it just goes into the ADL. And, and actually there were a lot of people online from what I was looking at that were heavily criticizing the ADL's role in this entire thing too. You know, I didn't pretty much, I pretty much didn't really get into that because I, you know, I don't see them as having a significant role. They shouldn't have that, especially if they're not part of the Brooklyn Nets, they really shouldn't have that kind of role in what is going on. I don't care what anybody say. This should have been resolved within the organization. When you let it all leak out in the press, you were wrong for that. And you're still wrong. Every day you keep going out here posting, oh, it's a hateful movie. Those of us that seen the movie know you're full of crap. Okay, so y'all, we'll see what happens. I mean, since their conversation, um, if Irving is going to be back, but I know one thing, Jalen Brown has come out and he's also criticized Nike's role in dropping Kyrie Irving. He's really going in on these people, and I'm glad he is. You know, because it's a lot of hypocrisy going around when it comes down to this entire thing. And I don't think it should be removed from Amazon, not unless you're going to remove negative things about all groups out there. So if you're not going to do it for all groups, it shouldn't be done for this movie either. To hell with that. It should remain out there. And if anybody want to know who they are, you have the right to do that. Okay, now you learning that you are a Hebrew is wrong, but them telling you you are nothing but a slave and you don't have no history, I guess that's supposed to be okay. We're all supposed to be okay with that. Boy, you can miss me all the way around with that one. So, y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.